Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at this example on the Lamis theorem. The example says that an iron block of mass 30 kg is hanging from two supports. These are the support. Support what? Support A, support B. And this is the mass that is hanging. Right? As shown in this figure, determine the tension of the ropes. So it's like you take a rope, so you take a rope and you place a metal or something that has a weight and you put it at the hope. What happened to the rope? The rope is going to slack. For instance, now I have a straight rope this way. Let me see this is a rope hanging at these two points, point B and point A. Right? If I put a load at the center of this support, let me say point C. What happened? This load, this is AB. This load is going to what? To slack down this way. And my support will be what? Will be hanging at this direction. Right? So there will be a tension at this rope. Because of what? It will tend to react to the weight. So there will be tension here. There will be force acting. So when the load is too much, it's likely that the rope will cut off. That is sometimes when you stand on the rope. Or you are climbing the rope when the load is too much more than the rope can bear the rope cuts off so they are asking us now let us look for the tension on this rope that means tension between a to c and tension between b to c so let's do that and see how it goes first thing you have to do here is to draw the free body diagram of this now drawing the free body diagram of this our fbg for FBG, hmm, the free body diagram, we are going to have this this way, this force coming in this direction, this force going in this direction, right? Then the load will be acting downward. That again, so there will be a tension here, tension along this part. So we'll call it FT, we have TCB or TBC. Because tension along CB, uh, at this point too, we'll call it CAC, so tension along AC, right? And this will be our weight, W, and which is giving us what? 30 kilogram. Giving us what? 30 what? 30 kilogram, right? So, now, the weight, you convert it to a force by multiplying it by what? By 10. So if I multiply this weight by 10, that means 30, 30 kilogram, 30 times 10 will give you what? 300 newton. 30 kilogram times 10 will give you what? 300 newton. So from here, that means my weight now, let me change this to be what? Um, 300. 300 newton. Because your force should be in newton. Right? So, the next thing you do here is that they have told us already that um, they've told us already that it is at this point the angle here is what? 30 degree. And at this point too, the angle here is what? 45 degree. Now you complete it. If I complete it like this, let me assume this is my north, this is my east, this is my west, and this is what? My south. You know, in between east and west, we're having 90 degree. Right? So, 30 plus 90 will give us what? 120 degree. In between west and south is what? 90 degree. Right? So, 45 plus 90 is going to give us what? 135 degree. Is that the key now? Now, if you notice something now, in between north and east is 30. So if you subtract 30 from, if in between north and east is 90. So if you subtract 90 from 30, the remaining angle between north and east will be what? 60 degree. Right? And also in between north and west is what? Is 90. So if you move the angle 45 from 90, here remain what? It will remain what? 45 degree. So when you add 45 and 60, you'll be having what? 100 and what? 5 degree. 
is that okay now so if i redraw this guy if i redraw this guy let's move further up so if i redraw this guy i'll be having something like this so redrawing redrawing right so i'll be having um this force this way and i have this this way so the tension here we we'll call it <coughs> tension ab along rope the cd so i'll have tension at ac right also since we've converted our weights into newton it's going to be acting downward and that will be our weight will be equal to what 300 watt newton so the total angle between um tcb between these two angles here is what um 100 and what 20 degree and the total angle between this point here is what 100 and what 35 degree and the total angle between these two points here is what 100 and what 5 degree is that the king 105 degree now if we've got it to this stage as we've gotten to this stage here like this we should know one thing that when we have two this is what we call a concurrent coplanar force why because of what it is coplanar because of what they are on the same plane it is concurrent because of what they are passing through a a a, a common and a common point which is called the point of what concurrence all together now so what you do here now is to apply lamis theorem we we'll do what we we'll apply what Lamis theorem. So Lamis theorem, the law, the Lamis theorem, the law says that what when three forces, when three concurrent coplanar forces acting at a point, these are the three forces, one, two, three, acting at a point, are in equilibrium. They are in equilibrium because if you sum every three of them, you have three sixty. So they are in equilibrium. So it is I I in equilibrium with each other. It is what proportional to the sign of the angle between the two forces what i mean is this when three concurrent coplanar forces acting at a point are in equilibrium then each force is proportional to what the sign of the angle between the two forces so the three are in equilibrium like i said earlier because of what they are equal to what 360 if you add the three of them and also they are concurrent and they are coplanar force so what you do, applying Lamis theorem. So what it simply means is that what? Applying Lamis theorem. Applying. Applying Lamis theorem. Lamis theorem. Hmm? So it says that if I have a force this way, let's assume this is alpha. Let's assume this is beta. Let's assume this is what gamma, right? And let's say this is A, B, or let me call it this is T, and this is T also, so T1, T2, and what? And T3. Is that the key? So what let me tell is telling us that what? Each what each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the two forces. Now this is a force here. It is proportional to the sign of this angle. So I'll be having T3 over what sine alpha equals to this one over this t2 over what sine gamma is equals to t1 over what sine what alpha so each force this force proportional to the sign of the angle of the of the angle between the two other forces is that the game this one also proportional to the sign of the angle between these two forces and this is our what our let me show you. So this is our force here, right? We are applying this principle to this particular question here. So let's proceed and see how it goes. So from here, what we'll do is this. It will be 105, I mean 300 sine 105. We have 300. 300. Abi, sine. 300, sorry. We have in um, 300 over sine 105 
degree equals to TCB all over sine 135 degree then um, TAC all over what sine 120 degree so now these are equal to each other so we we'll take two at a time so if I take these two part of it so but 300 all over sine 105 is equals to what TCB all over what sine 135 so, so I'll take two at a time so doing that I'll be having this uh, if I cross multiply this times this means 300 times sine 135 all over sine 105 is equals to what tcb so i took this up here so if you apply this using your calculator 300 sine 135 so we're having 300 sine 135 that will give me 212.13, right? So I'm going to have um, 212.13 all over 105 divided by sine 105. So we're having TCB. Sine 105. So our TCB now tension along CB will be what 219.61 Newton. So that is the first answer to this. So the second answer here is this. Second answer is this. So if I also take 300 and TC and this one here, so I'll be having 300. Right, 300 over sine 105 is equals to what? TAC over what? Sine 120. So if I cross multiply again, I'll be having 300 sine 120 all over sine 105 is equals to what? TAC. So I took this up here. So 300 sine 120, what we have here? If I multiply that, 300 sine 120, that will give me 259.81. So we're having divided by sine 105, sine 105. So we're having 268.97. So my TAC is equal to what 258.97 newton so these are the tension along so what is trying to tell that the tension along the rope cd is 259.97 newton approximately 259 newton then the tension along cb is 219 so thank you very much